think we all left here in May thinking that we would have a stable budget. Uh, sadly, since August, we've seen those revenues dip once again. And we have roughly a $2 billion shortfall coming into the opening session. Uh, our plan will not waver. Uh, the plan is very simple from the Florida Senate's perspective, and that is no new taxes, no new fees, balanced budget, and sadly, making tough decisions over and over again and, and making some tough choices over and over again on vital programs like education and health care. But we really feel the best way to help long-term education programs and healthcare programs is to be that place where businesses want to open up or expand as opposed to it being a state which will raise your taxes, raise your fees, or the regulatory burden. I'm looking forward to working with Speaker Ken. We've spoken extensively about our goals. Uh, for both of us, again, we're in a fortunate position. The goals that we had both outlined before we took the helm as President and Speaker have been accomplished. And so I'm looking forward to working closely with the next Senate President, Don Gates, as I mentioned, is in his designation. Uh, I think he has some very good ideas on, on both health care and education, and I'll be using the remainder of my time as the President of the Senate to help him get started on his agenda, because I think he offers a wealth of experience in both the public and private sector, and I think he'll be an outstanding Senate President. 